Melissa, we got three <laughs> laptops here. But, yeah, these are all part of Dell's Inspiron 7000 line. Uh, this is their premium consumer laptop. So what you're gonna see here is consumer friendly pricing but with some premium features that you would like. We're gonna start with the Inspiron 13 7000. This is obviously a 13 inch display. But look at how thin the bezels are. Usually on a consumer laptop, you got these big fat bezels and it takes up space. But because the bezels are so small, you have a much more screen real estate within a pretty small profile. Which also means a, a really small webcam. You have a super tiny webcam sitting right see there. It. You can barely see it. Some thin bezel models from Dell, <coughs> XPS 13, stick the camera down here where everyone can see your double chin. If it's up here, you have a chance of looking a little sharper. Also, you can't really see it, but it has these little itty bitty microphones on either oh, no. side. You totally can't see I it. I mean, I don't even try. Yeah, okay. They're these little itty bitty divots, and that gives them far field microphone capability, so you can actually use this with Amazon Alexa if you want to, as well as, of course, Windows 10 Cortana. So other things about this 13 inch, it's got a nice uh, aluminum chassis. Uh, it's got a good texture to it. Yeah, a nice texture to it. It has the chamfered shiny edges oh, on the on the trackpad. Got a fingerprint reader. A fingerprint reader on the sides. You're going to get uh, that's a USB A audio and a little mini SD slot. And on this side. You have full HDMI, which is very much appreciated. Yes. And this is HDMI 2.0, too, for Almost those of you who right care. There. Yeah, there's Adam's <laughs> thumbs up. And then we have a USB-C 3.1 Gen 1. So that um, it has charging capability, and you can also connect it to a display. And look at how thin this is. Oops. I mean, this is a really thin, light portable laptop. Nice. So it's nice to be able to tuck into your bag. You're not going to feel it as much. This is going to start at $880. Right. Well, what if somebody wants something a little bigger? If someone wants something a little bigger, you've got the Inspiron 15 7000. So obviously a 15 inch display. You still have the thin bezels on three sides. You got the little itty bitty camera at the top mm. with the invisible far field microphones. I can't see it. Uh, you've got this really nice brushed aluminum uh, keyboard tray, chamfered edges on the trackpad, fingerprint reader once again. Got a lot of extra space here, but uh, there also is more space for things inside. Um, you have the option of an MX130 discrete GPU. You also have the option of a 4K display on this. Um, obviously, that's going to use up more battery power. It's going to look a lot nicer. Here we've got two USB A's and a full SD card slot, which I appreciate because I don't know about you, I still have SD cards. Me too. Yeah, uh, full HDMI 2.0, yes. USB-C with charging capability, plus the audio port and power. And this, too, is a really thin laptop. Let me not neglect to mention, these are all two-in-ones. So look, I've got a 15-inch tablet. Yes. And it has active pen support, so I can even draw on it, which I like. And uh, awesome. so, yeah, I mean, it's really nice to see two-in-one versatility coming down to the consumer level. I think everyone's going to want this at some point, like clamshell. Who are you? What were that? What was that all what's about? What's the starting price on this guy? Starting price on this is actually $880 as well. Oh, okay. So, uh, obviously, you're getting a bigger screen. Here, you're paying for the portability. Uh, I should also mention, you see this silver. That's kind of the Inspiron base color. Uh -huh. This... Uh, this black color, I think they're calling it the Black Edition, okay. is going to be an exclusive at Best Buy. Oh, fun. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. So okay. what if you want something even bigger? Exactly. Everyone wants more screen real estate. This is the Inspiron 17 7000, 17-inch 17 display. Uh, the bezels are thicker here. You still get the camera and the far-field microphones at the top. Okay. Um, what about inside? Inside, you have the option of a GeForce MX 150 discrete GPU. It's a low-end GPU, but it means that you can do a little gaming on this. You got the, the 10 key, which you is You nice. get a 10 key numeric keypad, because you've got all this space. You've got to do something along with the keys. Look how far apart these keys are spaced. That's really unusual. Uh, the, the nice keypad with the beveled edges. Uh, this is obviously going to be a lot heavier. Yeah, try, try to put that in two in one mode. Yeah, uh, I'm going to try. <laughs> you got it. Uh, here you go. 
So one thing to say though about this, even though you can put it into tablet mode and it is touch sensitive, it is, does not have active pen support like the 15 and the 13 inch have, which actually gives me pause because I like using a stylus. I'm like, wait, I get my 17 inch screen, but I don't get pen support. Uh, we're gonna be checking to see if other laptops of this size have that issue. Uh, you got two USB-A ports here, plus the full SD. Nice. And then on the other side, you have HDMI 2.0, uh, USB-C, and audio. Uh, I think I want to say that they got a lot of room to put other things here on a 17-incher, but you know, I just can never be satisfied. <laughs> um, this is going to have a starting price of $1,100 when it ships. Okay, nice. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you.